this studio we take audio really seriously. We really want to go for the cinematic approach. The music in this game is what we determine as dynamic and really powerful. It's all original music, everything has been penned from the ground up, and it really adds to the whole game experience. You hear a car sounding awesome in a film or just racing down the street, it's the note of the engine that really gives you that impact, really excites you. The vehicle's had a lot of attention to detail. Uh, the system that we have developed has taken over a year to get the playback to the standard that it's at. There's a, a lot of design that we're going to use from different other elements of sound design as well to really give the cars a unique sound as well as a real world sound. As a sound designer, you just have to grab all the sound that you can, and the more sounds you've got at source, the more stuff you can do. Power plays in this game are a huge experience. We've used real sound effects, hyper-real created sound effects, non-literal sounds, for example, like a roar in a lion, all sorts of things like that to create a really unusual and dynamic experience for the sound of a power play. We'll have a dynamic mixer event which will duck the music and bring up the bullets and bring up the lion roars and kick out the flanger, you know, if you're in a certain radius. It really is to sort of draw the player into more uncomfortable zones sonically. One of the great things we did to help us develop not only the collisions for cars but also our power plays is we visited the junkyard. We bought three or four cars and basically set to work like demolition men with hammers, spanners and anything that we could find just to record smashing the stuff up. There's a lot more that comes out of the mix, dependent on whether you're a victim or you're an aggressor. Or, you know, there's a lot of different situations in. It certainly isn't a, a standard audio arcade racer.